and there is somebody whom has been privileged to be helped by God yeah. and the thing that the only thing they can do is insult that person or oh, look at you you are lazy nobody is actually lazy some people like on the biological effect of depression some people are born in a family where nobody gets married mm -hmm. you are beautiful but nobody would ever want to propose to you they prefer to sleep with you so what happens those are biological effect of depression you didn't choose it but you find yourself in it yeah. some people are in a family where there's no unity mm -hmm. it is biological it's genetically transfused yeah, really? there are different things which are happening in different families familiar demons in different families which needs liberation yeah. so when you run into conclusions you are making a big mistake some people are born in a family where there's this erotic dysfunction they want to sleep with anybody from little from their little age they want to sleep. there are ladies which from their early teenage age they are promiscuous why there are some other ladies are born from family they don't have that genetic default they can stay until they get married they don't have the, any emotional influence even when they even get married for their husband to make love for them is a problem so don't stand and love at somebody oh hey look at you you cannot control your sexuality some people we are criticizing needs our help if you think they are living in darkness and you have light let your light shine in their darkness so i think that the best way of helping people in depression is not insulting them it's not mocking them it's contributing the rightness you think you are to be able to take somebody out of the wrongness you think they are in it that is very powerful i love this very important so you see you find a very beautiful lady say how can this beautiful lady just be like that you don't know that the problem might be biological some are there which is psychological mm -hmm. you have a wrong picture about life so every right things come before you take them wrong yeah. you respond to right things as wrong yeah. so so many ladies have driven their spouse yeah. so many men have caused women to run away from there you are looking handsome yeah. but your psychological uh, state of life makes your actions to be repelling to opportunities that is very true i know of a lady she said she grew up in a family where the father beats up the mom the father beats up the mom like always so she just developed hatred for me and she was like i want to learn boxing so that any man that comes to me want to be boxing look at the effect and she's like 37 or 35 years now she's not married she the mindset has actually changed but catching up now it's not easy <laughs> she needs a good counselor that has to take her systematically from where it began correct her mind then make her to understand she needs time to give a different impression in life because sometimes there are things you said which to remove it back from people it takes a consistent life that contradicts the previous life which gave a bad impression in people not everybody sees a broken home and it affects them to be broken we have some people who just have a wrong mentality they, they absorb negative energy and become like that she had to copy that she wants to fight but the another child would tell herself that i will grow to make a difference i will not be what my mother was i will not be what my father was so it is possible for a wrong home setting not to be a problem for somebody to you see when we are blaming our depressed state from environment is a wrong approach to helping yourself out of depression because if you keep on complaining oh this person is this you will never help yourself nobody's a problem you come in an environment you decide everybody have the self-will to decide what to accept and what not to accept when you hear it you can tell yourself i don't like it you can hear it and give yourself to it there are people whom they'll tell themselves that the reason why I, I messed up or i fornicated is because i saw a lady whom was exposing her body I want to tell you something if sin is in your mind even a lady wears three gowns your mind will still x-ray her and see her nakedness but when sin is not in your mind when somebody is heavy naked it won't move you so how do you deal with things that influence you from your environment to avoid environment to lead you to depression have a zero value to anything that is negative it will never influence you if i don't see value to immorality i will never be immoral so anything you attach value to influence you so begin to cultivate a life that attach value to things that can be profitable to you and then cultivate a life that would give no value to what can create a negative atmosphere to you so the place of a life coach the place of a mentor the place of a spiritual guide can be able to help you outlive what creates depression in societies where you find yourself somebody can live in a bad environment and become good because they have a good orientation